Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. Today's video, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemount and Micromotion Flow Meter Technologies. More specifically, we're going to help shed some light onto any confusion around permanent pressure loss or differential pressure. These are different things despite sounding very similar. Take a look at this example here. We have some sort of product traveling or flowing through a pipe and then it comes across a flow meter. In this example, it could be a differential pressure flow meter, it could be a Coriolis flow meter, it really doesn't matter. Now, if we look at the graph above, this is depicting the line pressure for this uh, product as it's traveling uh, its course before, during, and after the flow meter. Now, as you can see, there's a specific line pressure beforehand, say it's 100 PSI, and then right before that flow meter, we actually have a slight uptick, a slight increase, uh, and that's because the flow meter typically restricts the cross-sectional area, so you kind of have that uh, buildup, if you will, of product that increases that pressure, and then during uh, its course through that flow meter, there is a drop in pressure, and that's typically that relationship that's well understood where you have a reduced cross-sectional area, you see an increased velocity, reduced pressure, and then eventually, once it leaves the flow meter, it gets past, it starts to regain some of that line pressure, but not all of that line pressure, and that's important to understand. So if we look at this middle section here, the difference between the slight increase in line pressure and the drop in line pressure there, that's known as differential pressure. So if this was an orifice plate or an annular bar or some sort of primary element, we would be measuring this and then correlating it back to a volumetric flow rate. That's differential pressure, so it's really that middle section. Permanent pressure is going to be way before and way after that flow meter. And what that is going to be is the permanent effect that this flow meter has had on your system. So you got to imagine the product traveling through, uh, it has some sort of friction or obstruction, and that's going to have a lasting effect. So uh, in this case, let's say it's 100 PSI before, 97 PSI after, that means you've lost three PSI from this piping system. And this can have a cost impact, uh, especially if it's more significant than three PSI, and it's something we need to consider when we're selecting appropriate technologies. Should you have any questions about Rosemount or Micromotion flow meters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.